This video is going to look at using the X winder as a spool or an industrial spool winder. And we've had quite a few requests from people who, for example, have a, a whole bunch of, just to make an example, a whole bunch of rope, for example, that's on a, a shop floor and they want to wind it up neatly into a, a large spool. So um, I'm going to show you basically how to do that, which is not a, a um, intrinsic function of the X winder, but I'm going to show you how to modify a G code file to do that. Okay, so here is the icon that was put on my desktop for the designer, uh, and I've got it here. Actually, before I do that, what I want to do is start up my Windows Explorer. I want to go get a um, the executor. Remember, uh, so I'm going into my program files. All the way at the bottom, you'll see um, Xwinder, Xwinder 40. Um, here is the executor that actually operates the um, Xwinder itself. I'm going to put a I'm going to put a paste a shortcut onto my desktop for the executor, and you'll see why in a moment. Okay, so we're going to start up the designer. We're we're in two axis using this um, this toggle button. That's four axis. We don't want to do that. We're in two axis. Uh, we're in a new file. We can go file new. So this is an absolutely new file. I'm going to only put in one layer. I'm going to give it, let's say our rope diameter is an eighth of an inch, 0 0.125. Uh, thickness also 0 0.125. Um, now I want to hoop wind. So to do that up here under winding angle, I'm going to put in 90. Uh, you get a message that says, hey, you're about to hoop wind. Say OK. Um, on the speed, now this, so the speed, this is basically the RPM and the carriage speed that will lay this rope as it's being wound up onto the spool directly adjacent to each other. Um, so to do that in this case, we're running at 60 RPM and the carriage speed will be running at a uh, 0.13 inches per second. Uh, you, you cannot input carriage speed directly here. What you'll need to do is to go here to the settings page. Now there's four tabs at the top. We're under speeds. Notice that the X winder has a maximum available carriage speed of 9 inches per second and a maximum mandrel RPM limit of 90 RPM. Now remember, if you go to these higher RPMs, you're going to be giving up torque. And so if the tension on the rope starts to get a lot, or the um, mandrel gets big in terms of diameter, you'll want to start to slow it down to maintain the torque. Right now, uh, I've got 20, 40, and 60 set as, the, as slow, medium, and fast, and 2, 4, and 6. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. Um, I'm going to run this at medium speed, which then, as you notice, drops the RPM to 40. The carriage now moving at 0 0.08 inches per second. Um, now, let's set up the, the spool that we're going uh, to reel up our rope on. The first thing I want to do is go define my zero offset for the z-axis. So to do that, um, again, I'm bringing up the settings page. I'm going to the two-axis tab. And I'm going to input, if I just newly built this X winder, and depending on where you located the limit switch, this is the distance from the center of the um, delivery head to the, the Z distance. So the center of the delivery head uh, to, or the midpoint of the delivery head, to the closest face of the right chuck plate when the carriage activates the limit switch. So to get the carriage over to the limit switch, I'm going to click there to go home essentially and bring the carriage home it's already there the you'll notice the executor started up it brought the carriage back to the home position where it activated the limit switch I measured the distance two inches and I'm going to accept that okay so measuring now from the uh, front face of the right chuck plate my spool I'm going to start the winding at let's say six inches and I'm going to take it out to 46 inches. Uh, <clears throat> the diameter of my mandrel is 3 inches. And I'm now, basically all of my inputs are done. I want to make sure all I'm doing over here is just winding. No pre-wrapping, no shrink taping, no heat gun, just winding. And I'm going to save this file. I'm going to save it onto the desktop. And I'm going to call it spool wind 1. And it will give it an extension of X2D. That's the um, X2D is the um, design file. So there's the design file. Now I want to go create the G code file, and here's where we're going to modify the G code file. So if we look at this file, and it's just a flat text file, these are the instructions 
that the executor, and here's the executor, that's the reason I put the shortcut on my desktop. I'm going to say, I'm going to make modifications into this G code file. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Then I'm going to start the executor up and run the file, which will be our spool winding file. So let's take a look at the G code file. Everything up to, so here is the beginning of layer one. And if there were other layers, we just keep going and keep going. But everything before the beginning of layer one is all setup information to so just leave that just the way it is. So what we really want to focus on is this layer here. And I'm going to then copy and paste it. And we're going to do many, many of those. So what I want to do is get rid of uh, several things, several commands in here. So, um, well, let's just talk about the first one, the M4, the the M4 command to S40, that is a, a command to tell the uh, executor or to turn the mandrel clockwise at, a, at S or the at 40 RPM. We want to get rid of the M602. We want to get rid, we want to keep every, keep every, all the G1 commands. Get rid of that. We're going to get rid of the 601. We want to get rid of the G4. We want to get rid of the G4. So what we're left with, um, that's the end of that'll stop at the end so what we're left with in this layer is simply three commands start turning the mandrel at 40 rpm a g1 is then a carriage command move the carriage at a rate of 0 0.08 so f is the feed rate 0 0.08 inches per second to a z coordinate of 46 inches and when you get there execute another g1 command at a rate of 0 0.08 inches per second and move the carriage back to 60. And what we want to do is just keep repeating this over and over again. So I'm going to go, I've just copied and pasted. So I'm just going to go over and over and over again. So I can do that as long as I want. I can just keep adding all of those execution commands. Now, one of the things that you can do yourself, and I'm not going to do in this particular video, is that as each layer of the of the rope is wound onto the mandrel the mandrel diameter increases and so what you'll need to do in each successive pass is recalculate you can pull out a spreadsheet actually and just do the recalculation of um, the rate at which the carriage needs to move versus the rp uh, sorry well you can vary the rpm if you want uh, and you should as the mandrel gets larger the rate at which the feed rate should increase or decrease depending on the uh, growth and the diameter of, of the spool. So that's basically it. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm going to leave that calculation up to the viewer to do the increased diameter mandrel size. So what I want to do now, I'm going to do a save as. And, it, and again, it's given me an, a spool wind, same file with an extension now of X2G, G for G code file. So I'm going to save this to the desktop, and I, it wanted me to save it to another location, but I, I'm going to have to save this by itself. And that file, and there it is right there, no, it's nothing but a flat text file. It'll open up in um, Notepad. Um, so w whatever you do, don't read this back into the designer or write over it, because you'll lose all of those changes you just made. So keep this in a special place. Now, uh, what I want to do now is execute that G code file with the executor. I'm gonna, so I'm going to bring the executor up by itself. And I'm going to go here to open a file. I'm going to go to the desktop. And I'm looking for the spool wind, the X2G file. There it is. I'm going to double click. Proceed with the build of spool wind X2G. Yes. Now you'll see the, com the commands here. Um, are being executed and you can actually l look here to verify that this is in fact this so this is the file that it's working from and I and I um, opened it directly from the executor and it's going to continue to go ahead and execute those commands that you that you input um, so that's it for using the uh, making G code file modifications to use the X winder in a non-traditional role of, of a spool winding machine thanks